These volunteers are working on one aspect of our trap, neuter and return program and that is the building of shelters, uh, mostly over winter shelters for feral cats. Uh, these are given to colony caretakers, that is uh, colonies of feral cats have volunteer caretakers and those people uh, feed the animals on a regular basis and they tr try to provide some kind of shelter so that they're uh, sheltered from the winter cold. One person will cut out parts of, of the uh, styrofoam, someone else will cut holes, someone else will cut the lengths for the lengths of corrugated pipe for the tunnels. Uh, we cut a hole in the side, put a tunnel in so the cats have an entry point. That styrofoam has a foil insulation and that foil reflects the body heat back onto the animals. Then we cover the lid, put the plastic lid on top, and we have notes which uh, identify what the, what the uh, shelter is for and some, uh, some notes, instruction notes for the colony caretakers. Hi, my name is Helder De Silva and I, uh, I drive every day 22 kilometers from my home to uh, go and feed uh, seven colonies. Uh, the eighth colony is actually in my house. I started this because uh, where I work, there's the cats are living amongst uh, abandoned cars that are being for parts and whatever. And the reason why I got started doing this is because I found a couple of uh, baby kittens that were frozen to the seat and dead. You know, and uh, because they had no shelter, the mother abandoned them, whatever the case may be. And it's tragedies like this that uh, open up people's eyes. And it's too bad that the public wouldn't be able to get this in their head to realize that, you know, it's a big problem and it's something that should be dealt with. Uh, on a large basis. You know, we only have so many people that are volunteering, but it would be nice if somebody could, uh, you know, get in more involved in, in stopping this uh, problem, you know, because it's just too much tragedy.